The series is called Florida's for multiple reasons. So the two main reasons is I noticed that Florida uh, could be easily divided into multiple states um, because of people's disagreement, political, because of economic divide in many areas. And the second reason is because it includes the archive of my images that are contemporary and historic archive by Walker Evans. Ja, das Projekt ist wie viele ihrer Arbeiten auf der Oberfläche eigentlich erstmal sehr leicht zugänglich, manchmal vielleicht fast dekorativ, aber eigentlich ist das eine sehr ähm, kritische Auseinandersetzung mit der amerikanischen Gesellschaft und da funktioniert Florida für sie exemplarisch, also für eine politische Situation, äh, Florida der Swing State, in der immer unterschiedlich gewählt wird. Die Arbeit beinhaltet eine Auseinandersetzung ähm, mit der Black Lives Matter Debatte zum Beispiel, das ist alles äh, eben in der Zeit entstanden, wo da gerade George Floyd starb. So I began the work on the flood zone in 2016, as soon as I moved to Miami. And then there were certain images that didn't quite fit in under the quite concise concept of flood zone, which is environmentally focused. I wanted to expand on the number of issues and the same as climate is not separate from, you know, political decisions and economic problems, right? And centuries of exploited land and human resources. I wanted to um, show the complexity of that issue. And so I expanded the number of subjects that I address in Florida's while still focusing on the same geography. I get inspired by a lot of things outside of photography. Uh, in this case, Florida's is a combination. I picked up um, a book of fiction, short stories by Lauren Groff, uh, who then miraculously contributed a short story for this book uh, based on one of the images, a Venus mirror. And another thing, most of it was shot during COVID, um, closures and I was alone in the car I thought it would be perfectly safe and occasionally with my son who was off um, regular school it was an online school there's a picture called except Sunday on Sundays he wouldn't have school you know so he would come with me and complain of the heat so it's kind of a bonding experience also um, and this was around the time of a 2020 election in in the United States uh, which was quite um, scary <laughs> Things were quite tense and you can see how the country is divided in a very palpable way. There would be flags from both parties on one street, you know, flags are notoriously hard to photograph, but I did my best to represent, you know, the key tensions that were preoccupying everybody's mind at that time. There are multiple approaches. I am a list maker, just like Walker Evans, who wrote his famous list while in Florida. The list is reproduced in my book called Florida's that was published last year. I'm a list maker, but then I deviate from the list. I'm also a map maker, so I map out my locations, but most interesting things usually happen in between. So there's quite a bit of room for chance. Anastasia is a Künstlerin, die ähm, eigentlich stärker von der Malerei kommt, würde ich sagen, oder von der bildenden Kunst statt von der Fotografie. Sie hat eigentlich Design studiert und ist ähm, eben über die Fotografie über Umwege eigentlich zu ihr gekommen. Nämlich äh, hat sie Designobjekte hergestellt und dann die fotografiert. Und das ähm, sieht man heute in ihrer Arbeit immer noch, weil sie eben sehr von der bildenden Kunst informiert ist. Sie hat dann angefangen, eher dokumentarisch auf Roadtrips zu fotografieren und arbeitet aber sehr stark mit einem flachen Bild. Also es gibt eine unheimliche Verflachung der Perspektive, über Spiegelungen zum Beispiel. Sie arbeitet stark mit Farbe, ist da auch eine Nachfolgerin, wenn man so möchte, der New Color Photography, in dem Sinne, dass sie eben wirklich als ästhetisches Ausdrucksmedium verwendet wird. Eine Arbeit, die ich sehr faszinierend finde, weil sie sehr für die Kulissenhaftigkeit für Florida steht, ist eine Aufnahme, die man eigentlich überhaupt nicht auf den ersten Blick in Amerika verortet, sondern auf Kuba. Und zwar hat sie ähm, in einer Shopping Mall fotografiert und man sieht, äh, so, wenn man genau hinschaut, so einen ineinander geschachtelten Raum, der aber als Fläche erscheint. Und man sieht so eine irrsinnig schöne Person, eine weibliche Kubanerin offenbar vom so Phänotyp ähm, gezeichnet, offensichtlich eben nachgestellt und ist so eine der vielen Tourist Attractions, die es 
ähm, so im, im, im Alltag in Florida ja überall zu entdecken gibt. There were so many encounters on the series of road trips that I've made. Uh, I really should have kept a journal. Sometimes I would imagine that there was a record keeper next to me in the passenger seat because most of those trips were solo. Uh, but two that stand out that are in the exhibition um, is Ali from Alligator Tires. It's a black and white photograph. And Ali asked me to photograph him because it's his shop, so it's named after him. Um, and uh, that was in West Palm Beach. And then the other one would be the road, the black and white road, which is, it's kind of the ultimate end of the road photograph. The road gets um, consistently destroyed by hurricanes year after year, and yet you can see sold signs. So the real estate still gets sold all the time, even though it's constantly under this dust storm from the sand that gets blown over it. So it's, it's, a, it's a very um, kind of contradictory image. Uh, it's this end of the road and sold property. So I think it communicates a lot. And it was a discovery for me. It was um, one of those magical moments where it wasn't on the map, but then it found me.